Hi everyone, welcome to another Healthy New Zealand podcast and today I have a very special guest, Dr Chris Kenobi. Dr Kenobi is a medical doctor who specialises in macular degeneration, which I'm sure we'll get to talk about at some point. But why I really wanted to, you to hear what he has to say is because of, of his research into omega-6 vegetable oils. And we've all been told that these are heart healthy and should replace saturated fat in our diet. But today, Dr. Kenobi has another story to tell us, and I'm sure you will love this podcast and will never look at a bottle of canola oil the same way. Welcome, Dr. Kenobi. Thanks for coming along. Thank you, Susan. It's, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be on your show. Thank you. Thank you. Would, would you like to start just by giving us a bit of your personal history and what you got, got you involved in Omega-6 research? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I believe that my background is like a lot of the people that ended up in this nutrition space. I got here out of my own suffering. And my suffering really began a long time ago, uh, you know, about 26 years ago with arthritis. And I suffered with arthritis really progressive and became very severe in my late 40s. And I'm a physician. I graduated from medical school in 1990 and then, you know, specialized in ophthalmology. And, uh, but anyway, I began to suffer with arthritis about 1993 or 94, and it progressively worsened until 2011. And I'd seen, I estimate about a dozen different physician colleagues, family medicine, internal medicine, orthopedic surgeons, even two rheumatologists. And I was eventually given a prescription for uh, um, an, an immunosuppressant drug, which I took for one day. And it was, it was unbelievable timing, but the very next day I heard about the paleo diet for the first time. And I started investigating this a little bit. And, um, you know, my antennae kind of went straight up when I started understanding that it was anti-inflammatory. And by the way, I, I'm not a paleo advocate. I'm, a, I'm an advocate of ancestral diets. And we can get into what that means, but I'm no longer paleo. I'm just saying this is how I got my start. But anyway, so I eliminated grains and dairy was I thought the main things I did, and it's much more complicated than that. But essentially I did that. And with some changes in my diet uh, that go deeper than that, in 10 days, my arthritis was 80% better. And I hadn't felt that good. I couldn't feel that good even with three different drugs on board, you know, like aspirin and ibuprofen and and uh, Celebrex, those kinds of drugs, I was 80% better in literally in about eight to 10 days. And honestly, this was such a dramatic change for me, an improvement in the way I felt and my health and all of that, that I honestly, rather quickly, I, I was so stunned that I wanted to begin to learn about nutrition and the more I began to learn the more uh, um, excited I became, the more interested I became, and I started to understand how powerful diet is, both in terms of uh, you know, suffering and disease, or at the other spectrum, your health and longevity and how you feel, um, all of those things. And so anyway, that was 2011. And um, I just went, I just basically, you sort of became obsessed. And eventually in 2013, after reading the research of Weston A. Price, and I can talk about him if you want me to, but I began to understand that man-made processed nutrient deficient foods are driving virtually all of this chronic, degenerative and metabolic disease. And what I mean by that is 
heart disease, hypertension, stroke, cancers, type two diabetes, metabolic syndrome, obesity, overweight, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. And then if, if, I understood all of that in 2013. And in late 2013, it finally hit me after studying this for three years. And I, I, I thought to myself, could, you know, now that I know that processed, you know, man-made processed foods are nutrient deficient and toxic that, you know, and they're driving all this chronic disease. Could they also be causing age-related macular degeneration, AMD, which is the leading cause of irreversible vision loss and blindness in people over the age of 65? Could those foods be driving this disease? And so I began to investigate that uh, for the next approximately year and a half. And in early 2015, I was so convinced that that hypothesis about macular degeneration held water that I left practice and began to pursue this full time. And I, you know, ended up, we, we pub, I led a group, we published a paper about macular degeneration. I wrote a book, started a nonprofit foundation in this regard for you know to try to help prevent macular degeneration and prevent progression once you have it and so you know that was in i went public with this in 2016 it's been just about four years ago and, and then susan really what happened was is as i as i dug into the research um i, I became i became even more deeply interested in vegetable oils, seed oils. And, and maybe over the last couple of years, um, the, the theoretical research that I did led me to where I felt like I needed to go public with that as well. And that's what I've done. And, and that's why people like yourself have, you know, have seen me and take notice because I have presented, presented that evidence at a couple of big meetings and my goal is just to reach people with this, um, you know, healthy, life-saving, you know, disease-preventing pre uh, message. And honestly, I, I can tell people that this is so easy. The science is hard, but the application is fantastically simple and easy to implement, and you can eat all you want, I think pretty much. And, and um, you know, just make some, some very fundamental, easy changes to your diet and prevent a whole lot of disease and get leaner and healthier. And um, so that's why I do this. I, I run a, a nonprofit foundation called Cure AMD Foundation. And um, I have elected not to accept compensation for any of my roles, for anything I do, for my book or anything else. I am in this to help people, period, because um, I've seen what it did, what it's done for me and for those around me. And I really just am in a position in my life where I want to spread this message. Wow, that is absolutely, um, absolutely fantastic. Um, it's the same kind of message that, you know, a healthy New Zealand is trying to spread. We're trying to get these messages out to people. And we will link to, I've got a couple of your talks that you've done that um, we've already linked to on our website for people to be able to have a look at. So fabulous introduction. I do want to get into all the omega-6 oils, but... I think you touched on some really, really important things there, and that's how many chronic diseases are related to what we eat. And one of the struggles I find is how do we talk to and connect people to making these changes in their diet? Lots of people say they would rather take their medication than make changes in, in their diet, and lots of people just don't think it really matters. Do you have any thoughts about that? 